In this session we're going to talk about output and how to pass output from task to another task or notification and I think that's the most common question that we get how to pass this information. And some basics about output. Output is pretty central in Visicron because we store the output of each task, the last output in the output column. So if you double click on it you will see the output value, the last output value. And if it says no output, uh, it didn't present any output. And there are two kinds of uh, output columns. We have the normal output and the error output. And these come from uh, uh, the normal standard error and standard out, which we originally created for the execute task. But all kind of task produces different kind of output. For example, the FCP task produces the files that has been downloaded or uploaded. The SQL task may control the column, na contain the con uh, the column names uh, or the output of the query. And in this case, we have the pop-up task. And if you have not looked at it before, it is a way of presenting information or asking the user question. And whether you're presenting or asking the user question, you can always use variables to to uh, include dynamic values and output is one kind of variable that is created when a task has been completed and, and you have the the normal output variable and the error output variable so if i open this uh, first pop-up task i can show you some quick basics of it and here i want to ask the user a question and I've already defined a pop-up title, a pop-up message, and who will receive this. Uh, I will make sure that I will receive this uh, pop-up question, and it will contain uh, input values, and that is the product name, and then the product name, we can open this one here, then it will ask me about the product name and it allows me to enter the value and if I go to this output uh, uh, the column I will see that I can select what what will be the output of this task and in this case I can either return the output uh, the input values include a caption which was uh, which product I think uh, or I could include a dialogue result which could be OK or cancel but in this case I only want to include the input value here and so if I run this task here it will ask me about product name and I can say blah blah here and press OK and I will see that the output will be blah blah and now the important stuff comes about uh, how to use this output from the previous. I want to include the, the product name in my next task which is also a pop-up task. I will name it pop-up task 2 to be more clear. And in this case I'm just displaying uh, a text here and here is the actual variable that is um, showing the output from the previous task and how do I find these kind of variables? Well I find this, these kind of variables in the variables browser and the the ones that are concerning specific Vichycron variables are in included in the, in, in the node here you see Vichycron variables and you can go down to active job and you can go down to task and you will see the two tasks it does not matter if you point to the right task because we want to use dynamic uh, variables here and and if I open uh, if I expand this uh, first task here I will see different kind of like the name order in, in, the, in the job and I will see last execution time and when I look at this I will find also the output and the uh, standard error output and we are interested in the normal output here and I'm able to choose between three different keys 
we have the unique key here which is pointing to a specific task and that could be interesting if you have our first running one task then another and in the third task want to refer to the first one then you can use the direct ID but if you want to use the more dynamic you can use active or prev task which is a previous task and in this case uh, we can uh, we want to use the previous task because uh, in pop-up task 2 we want to refer to the previous task which is the first one uh, that uh, queries us about the product name so this is the variable we want to use if we wanted to use uh, something from this current task we would use the active here but I can choose this uh, previous task and uh, I, I was and I then see that the this value preview is is uh, pointing to the, the value of the previous task so I can just press copy to clipboard or select uh, this and press control C and I will be able to paste this here and I, I can include any number of variables and then um, combine variables and um, for example, there are some variables um, including trying to find a certain row or in an output and I could uh, use the output and uh, use other substring values to, to get a specific part of the output. But now I just want to include the last output from the previous task. So uh, this second task will show you the, the output from the previous task in, in a, in a pop-up. So if I've displayed I press OK to save this here. I run this job. I'm asked to enter a name. I'll say Vishukron this time. And press OK. Then the second task is running. And it's showing me the output from the previous task, which was Vishukron. And you can see it here as well. And I'll press OK to close this one. And this is one way to to pass variables and you using the same way if you want to use a notification so for example if I now notifications are placed in the flow tab and say I want to add a notification here and on complete I want to use the output from the previous task I select this uh, I already have an uh, email notification here and I need to edit it to um, so it controls the out so it contains the output of the and uh, in this case I have the text here and I want to close the output I just cut and paste the value here and it will the email body will contain this output close this one now I have it on a complete it will always run on complete it will run the notification I see it here so this is how you work with variables that can pass information between variables. I hope this information was helpful to you. Thank you.